Uh, Game of Thrones has just dropped their first, uh, I guess you can really call this the first true full trailer for the upcoming final season. This, of course, being what we call in the business the money shot uh, <laughs> right here. Lots of dragons, lots and lots of dragon action in this new spot that we got here. Now, Robert, I don't personally physically know anybody on this planet who's is looking forward to Game of Thrones, the final season, as much as you are. So why don't you give us your uh, your thoughts on the show? You just watched this. Like, you I just, just watched, watched this. <clears throat> I just watched You know, I have long speculated that one of the things that would happen at the end of this series, and of course, what's great is it's all speculation because George R. R. Martin has not has not written the final books in this in this series yet. So the the producers, in a strange, in what I think the first time in history, have been soldiering on without knowing how it. Well, they, George R. R. Martin told you how it was going to end, told them, but it's so strange that they're off book. They're literally off book. But I always thought that we were going to see double Targaryen action. We're going to see two Targaryens riding dragons, kicking ass. And of course, Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen are going to do just that. And I am so excited after looking at that image you just picked. Man, I'm excited. I don't think I've been as excited for anything on television. Maybe ever. Maybe ever. Maybe ever. And maybe ever. I, I think... I think I might be more excited for this conclusion, these six episodes, than anything that's been on TV uh, ever. And I, know, I, I can't wait. I'm going to start a full rewatch of the entire series uh, on in March, March 14th, because it debuts April 14th. So I'm going I'm to give myself a month to get through all the previous seasons. So how many? So there are seven previous seasons, correct? And, like this is season eight. Right. This is so. There's ten episodes a season up through season seven. Right. So was, we had seventy eight episodes. You got to get through. Yeah. In a month. In a month. <laughs> and I'm gonna do it, man. I'm gonna do it. You know what? I believe in you, Robert. Chase your dream. I you uh, chase I, I your went, dream. I went through Breaking Bad in like three weeks for the first time, so I can do it. Now, here's here's a couple of things that stood out to me. The first thing, besides the dragons, I mean, yeah, they showed a lot of dragons in in the in this trailer. But one of the things that stood out to me was the distinct lack of arguably the most popular character in Game of Thrones, and that's Tyrion. We had like one shot, one very quick, mm -hmm. brief shot. Now, we got like three or four shots of uh, Cersei. We got a whole bunch of Jon Snow. We got a whole bunch of one quick. You know what? I think uh, Jorah had more screen time. <laughs> The guy forever condemned to the friend zone. I think Jorah got more screen time in this thing than here. And I just find that odd because he is arguably the most popular character in the show. Do you think now, is this mean nothing at all? Does this mean absolutely nothing? Or do you think this might be a little bit of a thing to the audience of, hey, this ain't going to be a Tyrion heavy season. You're not going to get a lot of Tyrion. Or do you think it means nothing? Well, I, yeah, I don't think it means anything. I think we didn't see a lot of of people. I mean, I thought that the choice, the the, the trailer, I'd call this more of a teaser trailer because it was mm. really, it's teeing everybody up. But I like how Arya, they spent a lot of time when she says, I've seen, I've seen the many, many faces, faces of, of death. death and, and I look forward to seeing this one. I mean, the, the fact that they started with Arya and, and look, one of my favorite shots in this teaser trailer was Cersei just with a cup in her hand about to take a drink. The camera yeah. pushing in on her face. I'm like, that's it, man. I mean, you know, they don't they don't have to show us the boom, as we call it. This was not a boom trailer. This was this was teeing up the boom. I don't you know, know man. It, I thought you, there was a lot of boom in this trailer. <laughs> but you don't even see the Knights King. I love the fact that they just you just hear the sound and you see the footstep or you see the, the one leg of a of a horse. And you know, after it, this comes on the trail of of the Entertainment Weekly article about filming the Battle of Winterfell, which mm. they say is the biggest. They say it's as big as Helm's Deep from the Two Towers, if not bigger. And man, I'm excited. But you know what? I'm also sad because I'm going to have serious Thrones withdrawal. It's already been two mm. years, and once the show goes away, it's it's gone. Well, I mean, you got the the spinoff shows and... coming that. And who knows? Who knows? Hold out hope, Robert. Hold no, out. No, it can hope. be good. It just, it just when you deal, it's like with Lord of the Rings. When you deal with the end of the world, like this is an mm. apocalyptic battle. It doesn't matter what happens in the next shows. It's still never going to be an apocalyptic battle. 
you know, for the soul of Middle Earth or the soul of Winterfell. So they can, it might be a very good, I mean, Better Call Saul is shaped up to be a good prequel series. I, I, I think, you know, I haven't really delved into it yet, but um, I hope this is great. It looks great. Yeah. So tell us, guys, what do you guys think of the new Game of Thrones trailer? Has it amped up your excitement for it? Or were you already so excited for it? Didn't matter what trailer put out. Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.